If you're looking to plan your Montana fishing vacation, you've come to the right spot. In this three-part series, I'll be talking about everything you need to know to plan your vacation, to get here, and to have a great time while you're here. So let's freaking do it. Here come the noise, bringing it loud. Welcome to my channel, I'm Jeff. And I do knife and outdoor gear reviews as well as outdoor videos. So please consider subscribing before you take off. In this video series, I'm gonna be talking about if you are looking to plan a fishing vacation to the great state of Montana, everything you need to know. Now I'm assuming if you've clicked on this video that you're already in the process. Have you been asking yourself questions like, lakes, rivers, or streams? Where should I go? How is the fishing there? I'd like to catch some big ones or maybe a bunch of smaller ones. What licenses do I need? Should I float or wade fish? Am I gonna fish the back country or do I wanna stay next to an urban area? Am I gonna get killed by a wildfire? Am I gonna get killed by a grizzly? Am I gonna die drowning? If these are questions run into your mind plus some, I'm gonna answer all of those in this three-part series. First part of the series will be pre-planning. Things that'll be covered in pre-planning include what parts of the states to go to and the benefits of each, accommodations, guided or not guided, and probably the most important part, lakes, rivers, or streams. So let's start by talking about the great state of Montana. Montana is untamed, wild, and natural. Glacier and Yellowstone National Parks are just two of nine national parks in the state. From the Rocky Mountains to the Plains, Montana offers some of the most diverse terrain seen in North America. Though a rural state with just over a million people, Montana offers a lively music scene, top-rated food, and microbreweries that will satisfy anyone's palate. Discover spectacular places, people, and things to do in Big Sky Country. Full disclosure, I stole about half of that. In fact, the Visit Montana or VisitMT.com has some good stuff for everything I'm talking about today. It's more an overview of planning your trip in general here, less focused on fishing, which is what we're gonna talk about today. So let's talk about what part of the state do you wanna visit? So Montana, in, in my eyes, is broken into really three sections. The western part of the state is the Rocky Mountains. We have vast, high, big mountains that are rocky, go figure. Coming with that means we have a lot of mountain lakes, a lot of rivers that run from high elevation to lower elevation, and a lot of canyons that provide great streams going down to those rivers. Now this is where I live. I live in Western Montana in Missoula. It's a beautiful area here. We're south of Flathead Lake and Glacier National Park and just off the edge of Idaho. Now the second part is really the Rocky Mountain front where the Rockies meet the plains. This is where you're gonna see the Continental Divide. Water starts going towards the Gulf and the Atlantic. Uh, the, the stuff on this side of the mountain goes towards the Pacific. Once you get past uh, Butte and along that part of the Rockies, everything's going off to the east. The unique part of the Rocky Mountain front is you're gonna get a mix of both the Rocky Mountains and the smaller versions of that and you're gonna get a little bit of the start of the plane. So there's a good mix there. This includes the Bozeman area, clear up through Butte and Helena a little bit, clear up to Great Falls, beautiful area. And the third part to consider is the plains, far eastern part of the state. Now I'm not gonna say there's not big mountains over there. There's the Crazies, there's the Bridgers, there's uh, Beartooth, so there's a lot of mountains over there. Those all kind of circle around the part I'm talking about, which is a, a vast, beautiful, flatter, a little bit high desert kind of plains setup. You have over there, the the Yellowstone River, the Bighorn River, the Missouri River, a lot of different diverse fishing abilities over there and great fishing as well. When you decide when you're looking at those three, what is the best for you? Now all areas offer a different spice to them. Not only accommodations, but the river sizes, the guides that you can find, the access points that you can have, those sort of things are things you should think about. Now I'm not gonna go, I could make this video really long by going into each individual river and each individual area, but just I'm gonna go more general in this and say those are kind of your three areas that you need to look at when you're deciding where you wanna go. So along with that, you're thinking lakes, streams, or rivers. Those are really the, the three options you have. All three are exceptional here in Montana. We're known for our rivers. Blue Stream rivers are everywhere for trout. Can't go very far without finding a river that is full of wild trout. Lakes are great as well. We have Flathead Lake, which Flathead is the biggest freshwater 
lake west of the Mississippi. It's a big, big lake. And then when you talk about streams, there's a stream in every crook and cranny in this state. A lot of different fish in those, mostly trout. Migrations put them in there. It's just, you, you can go wherever you want. It's it's an expansive area when, it talk, when we're talking about streams. So once you figure out what part of the state you want to fish in and what type of fishing, lake, river, or stream, then you're gonna to wanna to figure out what kind of accommodations going to want, and are you gonna do guided or self-guided? Now, personally, if you're gonna spend the money, in my opinion, if you're gonna spend the money to travel to Montana and fish, your best bet is to call up an outfitter and have them plan the trip for you, at least the fishing portion of it. They know this state inside and out. They're gonna know the rivers. You're gonna show up, they're going to feed you, they're gonna take you down, say it's a river or stream fishing or a lake for that matter. Matter. They're gonna do everything for you. All you have to do is show up, catch fish, and have a good time. Now, it's expensive, right? You know, it's people's times, it's people's experience. So if you're doing self-guided, you need to make that decision, and if you do, that's gonna take a little bit more research. Now I'll put links below to a few different outfitters that I would suggest, depending on what part of the state you wanna to go to. They have their areas and they don't normally move way outside of that. It becomes cost prohibitive for someone in Missoula to go fish in Billings, just doesn't make sense. I'll put a few different outfitters down there so that you can, if you wanna do an outfitter, you can do that. But my suggestion would be is, is I'm gonna wrap up part one, go to part two and part three, whether you're gonna get an outfitter and have a guided experience or you're gonna do self-guided, watch the other two parts. There's gonna be valuable information that you're gonna to wanna to know as you plan your Montana trip. Thanks for watching today. Again, watch part two right after this. And until next time. Here come the north.